So in this video, we're going to look at how to enter data and then change what that data is. So basically entering and then making changes to data. Um, we're going to do that by entering data, and then we're going to have basically have a drop down to select what data we want to change. Then we'll change the title of that data. I'll show you what that's going to the end product is going to look like here. We'll talk through how to do that. So say I want to add um, candy, right? And then I want candy here. Candy displays here. Change it to candies. I push save changes. Now candies shows up in my list. Okay. Sorry, it's a little bit confusing there. I'll move it here just for. So how does this work? What I have here is this field, which is input starting title. So it will create a new thing. This new thing is a thing that we will change. You can create title here is whatever you want it to be. If you're making an app, it could be a, it could even be a user. You could have this be a user that you want to pull up and change a, a field on a user. So basically I'm just creating a very simple thing to, to display this. So thing we will change. And then I have a title that we give it and we reset relevant inputs. It's very simple. Then I pull a list in a dynamic field. So I have a, drop down, and then I pull a dynamic choices. I do a search, just put on right in this one. I'm just pulling all of them. I could filter by anything I wanted. I could do ones created by the user. I could have other fields that allow me to filter this by however I needed to, um, to get the user to the right um, list of stuff. And then I just filter it by the title because it's the only field that I really have users adding stuff to in this situation. And then I have this, uh, pre-populating with uh, drop down A's title, um, just because that way it automatically is going to give you what was already in that field. So if I type orange, it's automatically going to put orange. That's why if I want to make orange be oranges, or if I typed orange in wrong, I can just, uh, I can fix the spelling relatively easily. And then I push save changes and there we go. It saves the changes. I want to do like a confirmation pop up on that. I could just do a confirmation pop up off of save changes too. Uh, probably be better for user experience to do something like that. But very simple task to do to uh, make this work. And again, it just basically works like this. Um, a bunch of random letters. Now they show up in this list. Still, we shouldn't have done that. Now, because I wanted to actually have this be something useful. I could have this now be violet changes. And now violet shows up in my list. Maybe candies was actually supposed to be a color. Now I, now I bring. So uh, very simple, uh, very easy. Uh, to make it so you can enter different fields on data and then uh, change those fields on data.